Hey, it's Jake over at Heartland Marine. I've got a 2005 Sea Ray 290 SLX. I'm just going to do a quick walk around video, point out any little flaws, um, let you know what we're fixing, what we're not. Just give you an overall idea of the condition. So start here at the nose. Got a little bit of a chip there. A couple little scuffs from being pulled up, looks like on a trailer at some point. So this here with the fiberglass showing, I've got two different options. Option A is I've got a filler where basically I fill that in, seal it off, protect it, uh, and just roll with it. Now the filler is going to be kind of a bright white, so it will stand out, but it's going to be sealed and you don't have to worry about it. If somebody plans on getting that professionally done at a gel coat shop, then let me know because I won't fill that because that'll make the job quite a bit harder um, if it's actually going to go to gel coat. So I will fill it if somebody wants me to. If not, then I'll leave it alone. A little bit of scuff mark. That'll come out with some acetone. Gear looks nice. No big gouges. Trying to do my best. I'm not in the direct sunlight. I've got a little bit of a shadow, so it's hard to tell, but I don't really see much. Uh, I've got one spot here that it looks like somebody did fill. So that one's protected. I I'm not going to mess with it. Um, I mean, if somebody wanted to like wet sand it, get a little smoother, they can, but that's already been filled in, so I'm not worried about that. A uh, little spot here. I got a little bit of fiberglass showing, so again, if somebody wants me to fill it, I will. Another spot somebody filled in. A couple little spots here. These aren't deep enough into the fiberglass, so I'm not going to mess with those. Uh, somebody filled that one in there. Somebody had a gouge here in the uh, swim platform that they filled as well. Um, again, just a light sand would make that look a lot better. Props look good. Out drives good. Skeg's a little, well, it's broke off. So what I'll do with that one, I've got a stainless steel guard. Actually, there's one on the boat next to me. Um, I'll walk over there and show you. But there's a stainless steel skeg guard um, that we use that'll look like this here. So I'll put one of those on. That's no big deal. It's Pretty common for us to do those. It's going to be almost impossible to get next to this on this side because of the boat here, but I'll try to do what I can. One light little scratch here. I'm not messing with that. It's not very deep. I don't see too much. Oh, one little chip here. Again, I'll fill that if somebody wants me to. Give me just a second, I'll get it uncovered, and I'll go inside. So here we are inside. It does have the sea deck flooring, and it is snap-in, which is nice. So if you ever need to replace a section, pop it out, order a new one. Got one little nick in the corner. My vinyl guy can fix that. It's not going to be like it was never there, but it'll be sealed and not going to ever get worse. 
Uh, same thing with a little spot there. I see a lot of that on this seat from the Bimini a lot of times. But vinyl guy will fix that one too. Seats are a little wet. I had some water in the cover and uh, got a little bit of water, as you'll see there. Storage with a trash can, fire extinguisher, and you got your sink. Uh, battery switch is right there. Captain's chairs with the two bolsters. The dash is nice, it's not faded. So you can tell somebody covered this and kept it nice. Head compartment, we've got the filler cushion for right there. And a pump out head. Spot for a cooler or extra storage. Valve seats are nice. Just need to go through and wipe everything down again. But yeah, just those two small spots in the interior, but nothing major at all. I've got the battery switch on. Let's see if I've got any juice to lift up the engine hatch here. Yep, sure do. So this one's got the uh, 496 mag. Of course, uh, dual prop, Bravo 3 drive. Does have captain's call exhaust now i don't guarantee that captain's call works um whether it does or not i don't if it doesn't I, I don't fix it it's just one of those things that we just don't have time to mess with um but yeah if it works great if not i'm not gonna mess with it overall real nice boat just couple things on the outside that I need to touch up and those two interior spots but again my name is Jake I'm at Heartland Marine if you have any questions feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text uh, if this isn't the right boat for you then reach out anyways because I've got a lot in stock as always I appreciate you watching